Welcome to my channel. So for today's tutorial we're going to make a sleeping dog. So now I'm just taking a white wool and making like round. We will use white wool, we will use light brown wool and black wool. And just a needle, felting needle. So this tutorial was like, maybe it will take like two hours to make it. But uh, I will show you all the important details of what you need to do to make this kind of dog. So you just need to make like this round ball and one side will be round, another side will be flat. I have a tutorial before um, where I'm making a ladybug and there is instruction on how to make this. I will post this in the description box. So you need to make now another one. This is going to be head. So the first one was body and this is going to be head. Head is like 40% you can say smaller than the body and you need to felt them like maybe each of them like 15 minutes but maybe less like 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't need to be very uh, like uh, strong you know but it needs to be like a little bit that is keeping together so it's not very fluffy you can say. So now I have both of them. What we're going to do we're going to like um, like felt them together you can say stick them together but like felt them yes like here uh, I'm showing like this part needs to be felted together so we're going to like take the needle and just look if all the body and the head doesn't have like uh, some sort of wool left like out that is not too soft you can say place and so when when this all is ready you just need to take this and put it together like you look so what you do is like push them with your hands and I try to push them now with one hand I will keep them together and with another I will felt them so this is this part needs to be felted together so this is what you need to do you just need to felt it and um, so it's like sticking together and you can see the line you can see when and that uh, other side there is like a hole like you can say and that we need to like uh, felt it also you can also after try to push this with fingers and it's easier to felt it together because as if you haven't felt it very strong then it's very easy to felt it so now you can also fix it so when we have felt it like those like snow are sticking together what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, we're going to felt this uh, you can say this nose for the dog you can this part of of the face is going to be flat for this dog there are different types of dogs but for this one you need to felt it like a little bit flatter you know it doesn't need to be round and uh, so this is the important part also you have to look that the body is not like you can see here it needs to be a little bit round so what we do we just like uh, push them like together from all sides so the head is closer to the body because it's like sleeping in a sleeping position so now we also take the bottom of this dog and we try to felt it so it's not like um, in a weird shape but it needs to be in a round shape we will add there later um, we will add their tail later and so it needs to look like in a good shape so yes that all the body is like the same you can say there is no parts that are stronger and other are like very fluffy and you have to 
felt it a little bit stronger and then you what you need to to do is to make sure that head is closer to the body so what you do is felt with a needle on the body between the body and the head and this will make sure that uh, this head is going to be closer uh, to the body and this is what we're gonna do now so because the sculpture will look more you can say a light and proportional and uh, just take a needle now and what we were going to make we're going to make this part where is the leg the upper part of the leg all right so you just like try to take a needle and go like slowly and make like this when you're trying to like draw a circle so it's going to be like a half circle and this place where you are making it it must be like a little bit you can say a bigger because you need to have not a thin line but a little bit thicker because here we are going to add a little bit more of this uh, white wool so it looks like a leg not something else as you can see now it's not looking like a leg so we just take a little bit more wool so it's that part is rounder yes and then we just take a needle and felt it uh, it needs to stick together as this sculpture is not that strongly felted it's possible to now put uh, so other parts of wool to make it more lively all right so what you do is just felt this part make sure like there are no parts sticking out so where you can like one part is felted another one is not so this is very important for the sculptures to not just look like very nice looking but be also accurate all right so after you have like checked everything and it is felt that we were going to make a tail so we just take a part and we just strongly like wrap it and wrap it and we will do like this one part we will leave open another we will like felt together so this is going to be the tip of the tail is going to be round and we're just going to felt all the tail so what we're going to do is i'm going to like go like turn it and turn it so all the part is like for this tail is felted it doesn't need to be very uh, like you can say strong when i when you do it because it needs to be felted also on this body it will be felted uh, near where is the leg and you can see now that it, when it's done you just press it where is near the head and then the other type the, like other place where is the bottom <laughs> and so you just keep it with your leg hold it with your fingers and just like go all the way with a needle so it is just felted on the body this is very important also after you just felt the, felt one place but not the tip of the tail the tip of the tail needs to be left alone we want this dog to look like a little bit more uh, you can say not really like um, like a lie you know that it looks more alive so no, you just felt everything and then also at the bottom you felt this and you look if the tip of the tail is round so it's not like a, like you can say a round shape not another shape so this is very important for the tail after what you need to do is just felt everything and then we are going to add this uh, this white brown wool in two places one is going to be on the leg so this is the part where we felt it like uh, this where is we put it like on and it needs to cover all the up part so there is also going to be one on the tail one of this wool on the tail but uh, between the tail and this leg it needs to be there will be also um, like a little bit white wool so it doesn't need to like blur together like it needs to be a little bit like separate if you see like parts where is missing something you can see the white wool through so you need to just put like another wool on you can see here I just put one but it's missing like something is missing so you just take a smaller piece and put it there yes so you can see now is the difference you can see the difference that this already looks like it's uh, the leg for this dog and next what we will need to do is just to felt it so it looks uh, like together with the sculpture and uh, then 
you just look through so there is no like nothing is sticking out or you can't like pull this wool very easily off the sculpture and we will just take also in some parts like um, you can see what this part that there is like too much of this wool and this white this this place needs to be white so what we're taking we're taking this white wool so we put there so there's the difference between this tail and this leg so yes this is also very important for the sculpture to not blur like not to be like one big chunk yes so this is what you must do so this part is very important for the sculpture to look more alive and you must felt it um, and then you will see the difference when you look at the sculpture you see oh this is like already looking like a, you can say a, like a little bit more alive and it's not like um, you can say it like um, not like when you sometimes look at something and you think some sort of small detail missing so these small details for these kind of projects are very important this is what makes the project to look very nice all right so now take also a small part and we will put this on the tail so be careful just put it on the tail don't put somewhere else on the body so and also keep in mind that this white part uh, needs to be white so don't put like this uh, light brown wool on this part where is the you can say that where is still the leg all right so now what you do is just put on the tail keep it with like two of your fingers and uh, if it's too like you can say like too big just take something off if it's too small take something uh, a little bit more so it needs to be like not very thick but not also very thin you will see how it's on your sculpture so what you do is just to keep it with your fingers and felt it also it will be for tail it's very important to look more like to understand that this is a tail and you have to also keep in mind that the closer to the bottom the sculpture might be like some white spots left and so if it's if it's there then you need to add a little bit uh, of this wool so you just felt also everything and this is also very important for this project and this just keeps the tip of the tail like white everything for the tail is done you what you need to do then is just to take another like bigger part of this light brown wool and put it on the face of the dog so this is also important for this project you just put it like on the face so this is what you need to look at if it's not too thick or not too thin if it's too thin you can still add some layers so you cover this white white type you can say white wool for this body so now you just do the same as you did before and just felt it on the face look if everything is like felted because for next step we will need also to do some little details to look so this sleeping dog looks nice so you just be careful like just go and check if there is nothing missing so that this part is looking good now you can see that uh, this side sometimes like stays out and you need to add a little bit more for there in that part because when you take a look at the sculpture it needs to look good from all of the sides and you need to felt also there but don't felt anything on the body in other parts because we will use other the dark wool for this and it is very important that you look through all the missing parts and just felt it and also keep in mind that the tip of this uh, you can say nose of the dog needs to be a little bit flat
what we will do we will make like two in these two places like triangular form of this black pool so this is going to be like those black spots so what you do is just make like um, like a little bit triangular form I will just felt it on the felting pad a little bit like like this kind of yes this is going to be felted after on the dog so I just take a little bit off because it was too much and now I'm going to just make like this triangle form keep it uh, with one finger like you can say a little bit to make it flatter that side and like stretch it a little bit if you stretch it it also will like change the shape of the wool so now I just put it on the dog and now I just felt it and after I have felted it, felted it you can say and then I will add another another is going to be for another place so a little bit up yeah this place is good so what I'm gonna do with another one is not going to be so close to this leg as the first one so this one is a little is going to be a little bit farther from the leg so it will look you can say like or alive all right so what is very important for this dog is this head so this is what you need to do is just to measure like maybe a little bit in, like you can say between like in the middle and you have to put like a hole, you can say a hole there you know, from the side because it's important for this uh, dog's face to look good so this is what you do you just take the needle and like slowly just make a hole and it needs to be a little bit big bigger you can say like I have not like one small place and you also must do it from the other side so what you do just in the middle try to like take the needle and push it like in so you will have this kind of skull for this dog also you see on the other side you must do the same so you have to also make from the other side uh, that there will be ears where I showed you so yes now you just take and make like a triangular form and this triangular form will be for the both ears and uh, look if it's not so thick or not so thin it needs to be small those ears need to be small so they are looking proportional on the head and you just take the needle and needle felt it and you just all the time keep in mind like uh, how triangular looks and that you need to like uh, you can even I sometimes do with a finger I just like out there I hold it in between my fingers or I sometimes like pull it so when I pull it like you can say then uh, this part is like tra uh, stretching and it's then keeping the form that is straight so yes do it for both of the ears also because it's very important and make it a little bit like you can say a little bit harder not very hard but not very like uh, soft so it is easier for keeping like this form for ears and when you felt, will felt it on the face it will look like it will stand out so yeah this is why I draw a triangular triangle you can say and that's why you need to like keep in mind all all the time this form I like sometimes to just like felt it from up and then felt it from down so this is the way I use I use it to keep this form of triangle for the airs and uh, so you what you need to do is just felt it both of them and when they are already like almost ready you will need to felt closer on the body one side and we will leave a little bit of the tips of the ears uh, you can say for one of the ear on another a little bit less felted so you can see now you just put and hold it with fingers so you can needle felt them on the face of the dog and just do it very carefully so no rush and you can keep with one of your finger or two of your fingers how it's better for you to felt it so don't move your finger so it's not going to like get out of the position you can also turn on the other side and just make sure you have felt the roots of this ear close to the face or the head of the dog and uh, then do it also a little bit on the tips and then you will see like but don't felt it too much now you will see that some part of the tip of the ears are sticking like out 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a small like piece of the black wool and just wrap it in between my palms or in between my fingers. It, it doesn't matter if how you do it, you can wrap them in between your palms or in between your fingers, but it just needs to be like a thin line. Uh, so it's something like a thick thread, you can say. So when you have wrapped it, and just make sure it is the same in all places and just take a small piece and then the other piece and measure it so it needs to be proportional also when you have done it just put it on the face and if you see they're too big like for me now I can see they're too big you see then you need to just take the tip uh, and then also wrap it in between like the fingers and then you this is how you make it smaller just fold it and then wrap it and now you have like almost the same oh this one other one is a little bit bigger so I'm gonna also take the small piece and wrap it now what we're gonna do is remember that place where I showed that uh, there must be a hole so this is the place where we're going to put those eyes so you can see in that place where is that so you can say the shortest or the smallest part of the face and this is where you must put those eyes so these are like those sleeping eyes that dog has like and then you, it's very hard, difficult actually sometimes to like to hold them but you just take like a needle and very carefully hold with one finger and then felt it all together it's done you just take uh, and make like a nose nose is more like an oval form I will show also put in the description box how to make these kind of things I have uh, previous videos before and so you just take this like and you have to needle felt before you felt it on the face and it needs to be oval form and this is and this is the result this is the sleeping dog and what you can also try to make it yourself thank you for watching